Shout out to the two Uber comrades on Patreon supporting this channel, my partner Rosen, Independent Left News. Definitely check out Independent Left News. And, you know, the capitalist class and, you know, those in Congress, the Biden administration letting these expanded unemployments expire literally on Labor Day. Uh, it's just really peak, uh, you know, shithole country that the United States is, right? I mean, just think about that. Just the complete, utter disregard, just not really caring at all. The uh, ruling elite, uh, those, you know, in power, you know, Democrat, Republican, not, literally not lifting, not lifting one of their little digits to try to make sure uh, millions of people would not be losing this unemployment benefits again on Labor Day. Just think about that. Like, that is how completely disconnected the ruling elite, um, you know, who control the Democrat and Republican Party are just completely disconnected from the everyday reality that the working class faces in the United States. And again, this, these expanded unemployment benefits expiring will obviously, just like all these crises caused by capitalism, will always impact the most vulnerable and marginalized disproportionately. And this, along you know, with the eviction moratorium expiring, which again, that was only a stopgap measure, obviously needed to cancel rent and mortgage payments to actually, you know, make a difference in that regard. But this is just another. Um, you know, policy decision that's going to lead to massive amounts of, um, you know, suffering and probably death, frankly. And it's, again, could have easily been preventable, but the political will, political capital isn't there because of capital, because of capitalism, because it's more, um, you know, profitable to make people suffer, make them get back into the workforce through these really shitty paying, low wage jobs, gig work, etc., than it would be to actually, um, you know, make sure they're still getting this unemployment benefits. Again, still very much in the middle of a pandemic, Delta variant, coronavirus is cases skyrocketing, deaths skyrocketing all across the U.S., but Biden administration, Democrats in the House, Senate, Obviously, we knew rep Republicans were going to do fuck all for this, but where the fuck are the Democrats, right? Twiddling their fucking thumbs, doing jack shit. Democrats, you know, some issues can talk the talk, never able to walk the walk, it seems. And this is just another example. <clears throat> this is from John Keeley at Queeley, Kuali. Uh, common dreams the link down below progressives and econ experts fumed monday as boosted unemployment aid which has kept millions of workers their families and the overall economy afloat say somewhat during the covid 19 pandemic came to an unceremonious end despite the persistence of the virus and a stalled economic recovery happy labor day everybody tweeted matt brunig founder of the left uh, leaning people's policy project and sarcastic declaration <laughs> early on labor today on Labor Day. Today, 9.3 million unemployed workers will have their benefits cut, depriving them and 26 million members of their households of income. So that's taken together. That's 35 million people who will be losing benefits to this unemployment on Labor Day. 35 million people. And again, the complete <clears throat> inaction by the Biden administration, by the squad, other so-called progressive members of either the Senate or the House is is pretty striking and revealing, right? Um, you know, I saw the squad was in Minnesota protesting for the, uh, you know, Line 3 against the Line 3, uh, you know, pipeline that would be transporting tar sands from Alberta, you know, into the U.S., which which is obviously good, but where, where are you for this? squad come on like this is also super fucking important right jesus christ um
unemployment, still 5 million jobs below pre-pandemic level, and even the best case scenario would take at least five months to fill that job gap. Um, you know, it's still very much in the global pandemic. Um, yeah, I mean... There's still 18.7 million workers hurting in the U.S. labor market. Now is not the time to turn off vital UI compensation to workers and their families. <clears throat> but, you know, the economy, the market's working well, as, as Biden said. You know, the economy actually grew during that pandemic. That's so fucking great, right? Who did it grow for? Not the, not the masses, not the working class, but those at the top, the capitalist class, they have done very very well uh for themselves during this pandemic while everybody else has you know obviously suffered greatly <clears throat> um people still need help for millions of people nothing has changed from a year and a half ago um with congress on recess the biden admin resigned to let the benefits lap ire was directed at both parties in the white house for not doing more to ensure that the boost to ui was tied more directly to economic conditions and more clearly signed that the pandemic was under control David Sirota, Daily Poster. American government is honoring Labor Day by cutting off enhanced unemployment benefits during a pandemic and a weak jobs report. Again, like, they're always going to, you know, serve their capitalist, you know, overlords um, while, you know, leaving the working class behind. And it's always going to happen, you know, Democrat, Republican doesn't matter that's the you know system we live in unfortunately until we get rid of the capitalist system replace it with a social one a dictatorship of the proletariat will keep seeing things like this happen the interest the needs of the capitalist class of the very fall very small few wealthy powerful lead at the top their interests always will be placed ahead of the of the people um, until we get rid of the system you know right so again not surprising, um, but, you know, it just really shows what a shithole country the United States is on Labor, Day, on Labor Day. Democrats, Biden White House, completely okay with letting these unemployment benefits lapse. Again, 35 million people. They just said, well, fuck you guys. You don't need this help anymore. Go get a shitty job, you know, doing whatever. Jesus Christ, man. Like the video if you like the damn video. Subscribe for more content. All part of the people. Peace. Much love.